Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about methods of demand forecasting. Demand forecasting is prediction of quantities of goods and services that will be demanded by consumer over a period of time. Demand forecasting is prediction of quantities of goods and services that will be demanded by consumer over a period of time. so that accordingly businesses can plan their production marketing finance and hr activities so many companies like starbucks coca cola apple do demand forecasting so that accordingly they can plan their other activities according to web bush prediction apple company could sell over 240 million iphone in year 2025 Demand forecasting technique mainly divided into two parts: survey method and statistical method. Survey method divided into two parts: expert opinion and consumer interaction method. Under expert opinion, we will study about Delphi method, sales force and dealer opinion. Under consumer interaction method, we will study about complete enumeration method, sample survey and market experiment. under statistical method we will study about trend method and regression method so one by one we will discuss about each method first is the delphi method which comes under expert opinion delphi is a forecasting technique where group of expert make prediction about future demand delphi is a forecasting technique where group of expert make prediction about future demand for example industry expert predict demand of so many companies obviously they have lot of knowledge skill in particular industry second is sales force and dealer opinions salesman and dealer can also estimate expected sale because they are very close to customer plus they have lot of knowledge about market conditions now we'll see complete enumeration method which comes under consumer interview method Under complete enumeration method we take interview of all potential customer under complete enumeration method we take interview of all potential customer potential customer means people who can buy our product for example you have local grocery shop people who are living nearby will be called uh, your potential customer because these people are supposed to buy your product under complete enumeration method you will take interview of all potential customer that means you will take interview of all people who are living near your grocery shop and this method is possible when our target audience is very small next consumer interaction method is sample survey under sample survey only few customers are selected from potential buyers under sample survey only few customers are selected from potential buyer because our target audience is very big and we have less time and resources for example in case of a mobile phone target audience or we can say target market is very big it's include teenager young and adult this is not possible to ask question from each and every people that's why we will select some people from teenager group some people from a young group and some people from adult group this will be called sample survey next consumer interaction method is market experiment method under market experiment method businesses do so many test and experiment in market so that they can know consumer response and can predict demand accordingly for example test marketing under test marketing we test our product in small market before launching it at large scale under test marketing we test our product in small market before launching it at large scale so that initially we can know about consumer response uh, can predict their demand as well as can make some necessary changes as we know haldiram have so many branches in many cities and they want to introduce new dish in menu initially they will introduce in small outlet in one city so that they can predict consumer demand consumer responses as well as can make some necessary changes before launching it at large scale now we will see statistical method for demand forecasting first statistical method for demand forecasting is trend projection method trend projection method uses past trends and patterns in order to predict future demand 
or we can say the trend projection method estimate future demand based on historical data and trend projection method divided into two parts graphical method and fitting trend equation under graphical method simply with the help of graph we predict our future demand means with the help of graph we will analyze past trends and pattern and based on these trends and pattern we will estimate our future demand x axis we have number of year y axis we have sales of coffee here you can see from 2021 to 2024 a uh, sale of uh, coffee is in increasing trend means this graph shows uh, sale of coffee is in increasing trend that's why based on these data or we can say that after analyzing this data we can predict in 2025 sale of coffee is most likely to increase next trend projection method is fitting trend equation or we can a least square method sometime uh, trends are very confusing can you predict anything from these kind of trend obviously not sometime trends are very confusing that's why we are not able to predict our demand with the help of graphical method that's why we use a least square method and this method with the help of some mathematical formula will help us to find a one trend line and with the help of this this trend line we can easily analyze our past data and can predict our future demand so we can say that uh, least square method is a mathematical procedure to find a trend line which is best to fit in our available data next statistical method is regression analysis this method of forecast demand by analyzing relationship between dependent variable and independent variable this method of forecast demand by analyzing relationship between dependent variable and independent variable as we know our demand depend on price income and price of related goods so our demand will be dependent variable income price and price of related goods are independent variable this method mainly tell us how much our demand change when income price and price of related goods are change with the help of this equation this equation shows a linear relationship between dependent and independent variable here y is a dependent variable means y is our quantity demanded and x is independent variable it can be income price or price of related goods so this is all about methods of demand forecasting i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care